it's reading week. In my last reading vlog, I mentioned that I might do this, which is essentially another reading vlog, but with, with a little, little tiny twist. So, it's my reading week, which to anyone who doesn't do um, an English degree is essentially your midterm week, except you're meant to devote the entire time to reading. Nice, I know. Very fun. So I kind of figured that I may as well, you know, do something fun with this and make a reading week vlog. I don't know, I thought that would be interesting. Maybe it's not, who knows? <laughs> Come read with me, we'll find out. So right now it is Monday the 26th of October. I have until November? second second is that is that next week i don't know whatever day next week is i have until then um to do a whole ton of reading because i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of behind on my university reading so i need to play catch up whilst also attempting to have a nice week off and also attempting to read my books for next week so we'll see how that goes. I have a little pile in front of me that I will show you that I'm planning on reading this week, along with a couple of things that I want to read. Will that happen? Maybe, who knows? I'm kind of going into this like really optimistically <laughs> because I've just decided I'm not going to do anything but read this week. We'll see how that goes. Mm. I have five books that I'm planning on reading this week to A, catch up on my uni reading and B, get up to date in my little pile here. I have Mall Flanders by Daniel Defoe, which I actually don't have that much of, I just need to finish reading it. I have The Duchess of Malfi by John Webster, which is a play, fun, fun fact. Uh, after that I have Joseph Andrews and Shamla by Henry Fielding, and then that is <laughs> the end of my catch up. Yes, I'm three books behind. I have to read two books every week, okay? I'm small, I'm dyslexic, I'm tired. I, okay, don't judge me. And then for next week, I need to read The Tragedy of Miriam and The Sentimental Journey. Have I ever heard of A Sentimental Journey? No, am I going to read it? Apparently so, I mean, it's tiny, so I should be able to get through it. Since this is also Halloween week, I really, 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 want to read two very specific books just for myself in my free time. I am planning on reading Ab Abbott? Ab Abbott? 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 Pronunciations, not my thing. But basically it is the graphic novel for the Queer Picture Book Club for this month. Yes, I'm reading it at the very end of the month, we're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm very last minute, if you couldn't tell. The other thing I want to read is some uh, bizarro fiction. It's, it's weird, it's weird. Okay, so I don't even remember what it's called. I got it on my Kindle the other day, but I think it's called Every Time We Go to the Dairy Queen, my girlfriend, wait. I'm going to check um, what this is called because I cannot believe that this is an actual book, but I find it on Kindle and I just thought it seemed hilarious. So I wanna read it. Yes, it's called Every time we meet at the Dairy Queen, your whole fucking face explodes. And that's by Carlton Mellick. So, I have no words about that. I just really want to read it. I'm kind of planning on reading it on Halloween, hopefully, because like I read horror like all year round, but I've never read like Bizarro. Bizarro, I can't. I can't words. I've never read Bizarro fiction before, so I want to read that on Halloween just to get into the into the spooky vibes. But I don't know if I'll get around to it. It depends on how I get along with this stack in front of me. So yeah, I guess let's get on to that, I suppose. Woo. <laughs> like 10 p.m. and I'm not gonna lie 
I haven't done any of my university reading. Oops. <laughs> However, I actually, well, I, I did and I didn't read. So basically today I decided to sit down and finally actually make my TBR jar. I filmed it. I don't know if that video is up, but if it is, that's a thing I did. Um, watch that if you want, I guess. While I was doing that, because it took, uh, it took like an hour, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm very, I'm very slow when it comes to like writing things down. I'm just, everything takes time for me. <laughs> While I was doing that, I was actually listening to the audiobook of Let the Right One In. Let the Right One In is one of my favorite books, hands down. And I kind of decided to start listening to the audiobook like last week. I think I just kind of like play it whenever I'm like doing whatever in my room like if I'm doing skincare if I'm tidying I'll like put it on for like 20 minutes and listen to it so I am nearing the end of that I only have like a couple more hours left in that so that should be finished probably by the end of the week tomorrow I'm probably going to pick up where I left off on Moth Flanders if not, I think I might start reading The Duchess of Malfi, just because it's a play, so it's a wee bit shorter and it'll get my brain like back into the flow of things. But yeah, that is all I have to say for this little update. I think now I might watch Final Destination 3, or I might just go to sleep, because if you couldn't tell, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's it. I don't know. Whatever, but... <laughs> Tuesday right now. Is it Tuesday? No, I'm a liar. It's a Wednesday. I have no concept of time. So it is Wednesday right now. I haven't really done much of my university reading. Bad egg, I know. I have almost finished my audiobook of Let the Right One In. I've actually been listening to it while yesterday I was making candles. <laughs> Today I decided to launch my little candle brand and that's been very fun but I was making like a lot of pre-orders yesterday so that took up a lot of my time so knowing that I couldn't like physically read something I decided to listen to an audiobook instead. I'm gonna make uh, some more candles today and maybe listen to another audiobook because I think I'm going to finish this one pretty soon. Uh, what else do you have to update you on? Oh, uh, Mall Flanders. <laughs> uh, I've almost finished Mall Flanders. I actually ended up reading some more of it on Monday night because I was stuck awake with pains in my legs. That's like a normal thing for me. So yeah, I just have to finish that and then start my other reading. Once I have these two books finished, I am going to hit my 50 book goal for the year, which is mental. Uh, so we'll see uh, what I read after that. That's really exciting. I'll do a check in when that happens as well. But yeah, okay, that's all.
a check-in that's not in the middle of the night. Wow, that's new. So it is Friday evening. I mean, it's dark outside, so I'm going to say it's evening. And I have just hit my Goodreads reading goal. I have read 50 books this year as of today, which is October 30th. I'm like really surprised even though I kind of knew it was going to happen because I've been getting so close to it but I'm still like whoa I read 50 books this year it's I don't know it's about the that I don't know I'm just really happy and proud of myself I am just after filming my Halloween video which by the time this reading vlog is up is up I basically put up on my Instagram being like, hey, would you rather see my TBR jar video or would you rather see a surprise spooky Halloween video? And pretty much everyone said they wanted to see a Halloween video. So I'm just finished filming that. For it, I read The Haunted Vagina by Carlton Mellick III. If you want to hear my thoughts on that and if you want to go on the journey of reading that with me, then check out that video it'll be the last one on my channel more than likely it was a wild ride uh last night i actually started reading the duchess of malfi which you would have saw uh i'm really enjoying it i've kind of come to the realization this semester that i really enjoy like tudor era like dramas that aren't shakespeare like i, I like shakespeare but I'm discovering I really like the work of his contemporaries like more than I like him which is kind of mind-blowing and not something that I expected uh so yeah Duchess of Malfi I'm really enjoying that I am on act two no no I'm on act three right now and I'm gonna continue reading that uh I haven't been doing many check-ins because I had an insane launch day for my little candle brand oh my god I have spent the last few days just making candles and listening to audiobooks. I finished my audiobook of Let the Right One In. Again, loved it. Didn't like the audio as much as I liked just reading it. The narrator was kind of weird to me because he made everything sound really English and it's a Swedish book so that kind of was weird. But yeah, I will uh, update you guys on my reading later on this evening i'm hoping to finish the duchess of melfi still haven't finished my flanders i know i need to finish that <laughs> uh so yeah i'll see you guys then woo <laughs> 50 bucks update it is 11 p.m on friday night and i just finished reading the duchess of Malfi. ignore the fact that my neighbor's kids are screaming i am tired don't know if i'll read anything else tonight if i do i should start reading shamala emphasis on should not that i will <laughs> because to be entirely honest uh, I find plays easier to read uh, than novels of like the, what time period am I studying? 17th to like early 19th century. 
uh, I'm finding those novels like kind of melt my little tiny pea-sized brain. Um, but I'm enjoying the plays from slightly before that era that I'm doing. I don't get it either, but here we are. So, Duchess and Alfie, really enjoyed it, thought it was good crack, really confused me at random points because I was like, what do you mean there's a werewolf? What do you mean there's a separate hand? What? Still confused. Did enjoy it though. But I'll talk more about that in my, what do you call it, wrap up. But I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. I think that's it for tonight. I will probably do another update tomorrow. He does this every night. Shut up. Anyways, <laughs> I'll probably do an update tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to see my girlfriend for a little while, so I'll try to read a bit before then, no promises, but I will though. Uh, this is kind of epically filled as a reading rush this week, uh, but to be fair I have actually finished like three books, which is good. I finished Let the Right One In, <laughs> The Haunted Vagina, that was a fun time today, <laughs> and Duchess of Malfi. So hopefully, hopefully before the weekend is over I'll be able to read something else, maybe not. We'll see. So yeah. Um, until my next update, but I don't know. Just gonna sit here all night listening to my neighbor fucking screaming. Will anyone be surprised for me to admit it is multiple days later when I'm doing this outro? What can I say? I'm just fabulous like that. So my reading week was kind of a bust, but also kind of not. Rather than just reading, I ended up launching my little candle brand, which kind of took up the majority of my time, as you can imagine. Um, that went well, that was fun, and I actually did end up reading. I read The Tragedy of Miriam, The Duchess of Malfi, and something at- oh yeah. Yeah, during that time I also read The Haunted Vagina, you saw about that. That was an interesting time in my life. <laughs> so when it comes to The Duchess of Malfi and The Tragedy of Miriam, I really liked them. I thought they were really interesting, really fun. It turns out I am actually quite a fan of plays from that time era which I didn't expect. There's no words for The Haunted Vagina, just watch that video. There's no words for it. It's the last video up. So yeah, this is basically just a roundup instead of a wrap up of just me being like, hey, I read books and I did other things. As usual, I didn't read on Saturday. I don't know what it is. I don't read on Saturdays, I think. 
uh, instead I just kind of chilled out and watched movies with my family and my girlfriend and it was great crack. So yeah, that is basically all. Uh, I didn't read as much as I wanted to read, but I still read. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. If you like this, uh, like the video, subscribe if you're intrigued by me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Should I do more of these videos? Do you enjoy these? Do, do you enjoy these? I enjoy these, but do you enjoy these? I don't know, tell me below. But yeah, that is everything and that is all. So until next time. I can't snap my fingers anymore. Eh.